A rising plate meter is very, very simple to use, but, it's, but there are certain things that we have to do to make sure that our measurements are accurate. The number one thing that we need to be absolutely sure of is that we're taking even flat compressions. And by that I mean that we don't want the plate at an angle. We want the plate resting on pasture flat so that it's taking an even flat compression. The other thing that we need to do is walk in a straight line. Don't try and pick places to measure. What you need to do if you're doing it right is to fix your, fix your eye on a certain point, walk in a straight line, develop a cadence, which means that you would put the plate down at a certain part of your step every time. And generally, when you're measuring pasture in a, in a paddock or you're, you're doing a particular reading for a paddock, we basically want to make sure that we get at least 30 readings. The more readings we take means the better the average and the more accurate the reading is going to be. There are areas that we really need to avoid, and these are high traffic areas with dairy cows. We're, we're looking to avoid certainly gateways where cows have come out and the pasture may be trampled down, or in actual fact, there may be, it, it may be an over-fertilized area because the cows have stood there for a while. The pasture will not be a good indication of what the rest of the pasture is. Certainly when it comes to water troughs and also shade areas, you want to avoid measuring those two because those two will give us a false dry matter reading.